Now to some education news. Students from a vacant charter school are flying high with their new STEAM projects. Our morning reporter Pepper Baker joins us live from their campus to show us how as she reveals our School of the Week. Good morning, Pepper. Good morning, Caitlin. Yes, Cirrus Academy students are putting their science, technology, engineering, arts, and math skills known as STEAM to the test by building and flying their very own kites. Now, I definitely don't know what goes into building a kite, and I've never flown one, but these students showed me how they did it, making them our School of the Week. Before Sears Academy students put their kite creations to the test, sixth grader London Parent says they had to figure out the math to build it. We have to really measure this out and for the kite, like the straws in the, if it's too long, it might not fit with the paper, so we have to measure it out to figure how much paper we need to put over the straws. Middle school math teacher Stephanie Chapman says it fits right in with their geometry lesson while also teaching how other scientific factors could affect how the kite flies. So they learn weight and how to manage the uh, material and construct it with flexibility and use surface area to be able to do that and then they pull the angles together and pull the kites together. Perrin says it took her group 45 minutes to build a kite out of tissue paper, straws, glue, and string. The paper straw is inside the plastic straws because the plastic straws are very stable than the paper ones because they bend it. So it helps the kite stay stable and not just fly away. This kite project is one way Cirrus Academy teachers are developing their students' science, technology, engineering, art, and math skills, which is also known as STEAM. It gives them an opportunity again to be able to really, really get involved and discover, work in teams. And this, again, we are preparing them for the workforce. And this gives them that great opportunity to be able to be ready to do that. If you wanted to do build build walls when you grow up or measure the floors. You, you'll need to learn how to measure something. So. Now every student here from kindergarten to eighth grade flew their own kite. And again, and I've, I've never flown a kite, never built one, but they just look like they were having the best time of their lives uh, flying them yesterday. Reporting live in Macon, Pepper Baker, 13 WMAZ News. Thank you, Pepper. I can't believe you've never flown a kite. I've tried to fly a kite before. It wasn't successful, but at least I tried. If you have an idea for School of the Week, let us know. You can message us on Facebook or send an email to news at 13wmaz.com.